Okay, so that brings us to the President's report. <clears throat> Item number one is the 2018 audit. We have a presentation from Sickish and our auditors, uh, Mr. Chad Lucas, Megan Cochran, is here to present the audit as compiled and completed by Sickish. So the trustees have a copy of this audit. At the conclusion of this meeting, we'll uh, accept this audit and then put those on the website and make them uh, um, available for viewing uh, to the public. Mr. Lucas, the floor is yours. And trustees, please uh, gather your audits if you have those and follow along as, uh, as Chad takes us through an overview of the audit. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, thank you uh, again for the opportunity to visit the village. Um, Megan Cox is with me. She's our uh, director of all services. Um, and so she oversaw the day-to-day -day field work uh, during the audit process. I'd like to thank the staff also for their help during the audit process. Um, we asked a lot of questions, and so we, we appreciate all their help during the audit process. So I'll go through a few things with you. The independent auditors, uh, the, the financial statement, the independent auditors report is the large uh, document that we have. Uh, included in here is our independent auditors report. Uh, it's what we call an unmodified opinion, which means that we believe that everything included in the financial statements based on our audit is fairly presented. Um, so just going to go through a couple of highlights with you and uh, be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Um, so uh, the first item is the statement of net position. Uh, this is your assets less your liabilities equal your net position. Uh, and you can see there that your net position for your governmental activities is uh, approximately six and a half million dollars. Um, and for your business type activities, your sewer fund is $1.5 million. And so uh, the governmental activities includes your general fund, your motor fuel tax fund, and then all your TIF funds. Uh, sewer fund is the only business type activity that you have. Uh, that statement of net position, these first two financial statements are what we call the government wide uh, financial statements. And they include um, capital assets, um, less depreciation, and it also includes debt uh, of the village. Uh, and so uh, on, the, on the monthly financial statements that you may receive or, uh, uh, throughout the, audit or throughout the uh, year, um, you probably see fund financial statements which don't include those um, uh, depreciation and capital assets. Uh, that's a requirement under GASB 34, uh, which dates back to 2004. So, um, so the other item here is the statement of activities. And again, this is your government-wide statement of activities. Um, this shows your, all of your expenses by category, by different function, general government, public safety, streets and public works, culture and recreation, and economic development. And, uh, and so uh, ultimately, there's uh, three, three lines from the bottom there is the change in net position for those two different activities, governmental activities and the business type activities. Uh, the change in net position for your governmental activities was approximately a $562,000 increase. Uh, and your business type activities, your sewer fund was a $52,000 increase. Um, starting on page seven, then in your basic, uh, your, your balance sheet for your governmental funds. Um, and these financial statements don't include capital assets, net of depreciation, and they don't include debt. Um, and so you have, again, your assets at the top, uh, cash investments, property taxes, uh, other receivables, and uh, interfund payables and receivables. Uh, your liabilities, accounts payable. Um, you did, a few years ago, you converted from cash basis to accrual basis, so your financial statements do have all your accrual financial uh, liabilities and receivables. Um, and then you have uh, your fund balances there at the bottom. And your fund balances, um, you can see, are made up of a couple of, several different categories, um, restricted and then unrestricted. Uh, essentially, the restricted categories are the result of property taxes uh, levied for specific purposes for which you haven't spent the money yet. Um, on page eight is kind of a reconciliation between the fund financial statements and the government-wide statements. So really this just kind of encaps encapsulates all of the capital assets and the liabilities that are on your government-wide that aren't on your fund financials. And then on page nine is your um, fund um, income statement essentially, statement of revenues, expenditures, and changes in fund balance. Um, again, this is by fund, general fund, the, the combined TIF fund, and then the motor fuel tax. And there is a combining statement in the back with all the individual TIF funds um, listed separately. Um, but again, at the bottom, third, third line from the bottom there, um, the change in net in fund balance. Um, so for your general fund, you had a positive increase of $3,900, uh, $3,969. Uh, for the combined TIF funds, you had a decrease of $49,000, so you spent more uh, than you received in revenues. 
and your motor fuel tax had a positive increase of 34,000. Uh, page 10 is a reconciliation again between uh, fund financials uh, and <coughs> government statement of activities uh, on the income statement side of things. Uh, so you can see here there's depreciation expense um, that's included uh, on the government-wide statements that's not included on your fund financial statements, things that are related to capital assets and um, your debt. Page 11 and 12, 11, 12, and 13 um, are the detailed information about your sewer fund. Um, so this shows um, balance sheet assets less liabilities equal your um, net position. Um, and so a portion of your net position is uh, made up of net investment and capital assets. And what that is, is your net book value of your capital assets in the sewer fund less debt related to that. Um, and, and there's no debt in the sewer fund related to those capital assets. Uh, and then the rest of it is unrestricted. On page 12 then, um, this just shows your uh, income statement for your sewer fund, uh, your revenues, less your operating expense, expenses, which does include depreciation of $72,000. Uh, for an operating income of 47, you had an investment income of 5,000, so you had a, a change, a positive change in that position of 52,000. Uh, then on page 13 is a cash flow statement for uh, the um, sewer fund and the cash flow statements required for an enterprise fund, a business type fund, uh, which your sewer fund is. So you had a positive increase of cash of 186000 uh, for the fiscal year in. And then after that is uh, the notice of the financial statements, which include all your significant accounting policies. It provides you a lot of detail about uh, capital assets, um, your investments, your debt, um, your pit, um, your uh, insurance activity, uh, risk management, deferred comp plan. Uh, so there's a lot of good uh, detailed information about the uh, financials that we just went through, uh, the basic financial statements. And then after the notes to the financial statements, um, there are some budget versus actual um, comparisons. Um, and for each of the general fund and the major budget and special revenue funds, um, so you have a final budget, original budget, final budget, and actual, and you can so, so you can see the uh, um, budget versus actual, that is on a cash basis. Uh, so you, your financials actually uh, encompass cash basis, budget versus actual, modified accrual basis for fund financial statements, and then full accrual basis for your government-wide uh, financial statements. Uh, and then, uh, as I mentioned before, there's a, some combining statements on the TIF funds in the back, and there's also uh, a independent accountant's report on um, compliance with the TIF Act. Uh, we're required to test TIF expenditures, uh, and uh, we, so we have our um, accountant's report for that compliance in the back. So that's kind of a quick summary of the financial statements. Uh, be happy to answer any questions you may have. Any trustees with questions regarding the audit? I know you've had it, had it for a while, but uh, you had you know, your own time to review it. Maybe you've gotten your questions already answered, but at this time, if you'd like to ask a question, Mr. Lucas is available. I would just like you to, ex to uh, explain just a little further. You indicated that our financial statements were unmodified. And I believe that to mean that <clears throat> what our treasurer gave you, you reviewed, tested, et cetera, and there were no material changes. Uh, yeah, so we did have a few adjusting journal entries, um, which is in another document that I can go through. But yeah, um, so this year we actually, I think there were only five adjusting journal entries. Um, so not, not very many adjusting journal entries. Okay, any other questions? We do have a lot on the agenda and we're bumping up against some time, so um, I'm trying to, trying to move this along in some respects. But uh, any trustees, any questions? What I would like to do is to formally accept the audit, even though it already essentially is accepted, but was accepted as a board. Um, so if there's a motion to accept the 2018 audit um, uh, as presented, is there a motion to that effect? Trustee yeah. Schultz makes a motion, second by Trustee Gray. Uh, clerk, would you please call the roll? Trustee Gray. Yes. Trustee Hogg. Yes. Trustee Hogg. Yes. Trustee Rockford. Yes. Trustee Schultz. Yes. Trustee Tim. Yes. Okay, that's six members voting yes and then voting no. This audit will be uh, added to the board's website. Anybody can uh, download or view on their devices um, and be made available to the public. Uh, Mr. Lucas, Ms. Cameron, you guys are free. If you have something else to do the rest of the evening. If you want to stick around, you're more than welcome to. So okay. we thank you for uh, thank you for your.
your autograph and your time. And I know staff enjoys you know working with you guys as well. You're very professional, and um, I think things work and flow well back and forth in terms of you know, getting the information. So thanks again for everything. Thank you. Okay, let's move along.